Welcome on board. We're down here at Dalboras at the Spit in Sydney, doing a couple of 12V2000 in a 28 metre Sunseeker here. A lot of the time people think that we just get to hang out on these beautiful boats and go cruising around the harbour, but it's not always the case. You know, it, it takes a whole lot of hard work to get to the, the end result till you actually do get to go for a sea trial. So um, we'd love to take you inside and see what's going on with uh, this repair and what's involved in this job. This job originated from a pre-purchase inspection we did, which is a really, really good thing to do when you're buying a boat of this size to uh, make sure that you're buying what you think you're buying and knowing what you're in for. Pre-purchase inspection found that there were cylinder head gaskets that were leaking oil. So we are uh, down here pulling the heads off and resealing them all. First step here when we get to the boat is to make sure that we protect the boat. So we put down core flute on the deck and the high wear areas. Um, also in the engine room, we put down core flute and at on board, that's one of the biggest things that sets us apart and makes it a bit different is we understand and we protect the, the customer's investment. All we do is boats. Once we've made sure that the, the boat's protected, we make sure we isolate the engine. So we go up to the wheelhouse and we, we pull the keys out of the ignition. We tag out the keys with a do not start tag, make sure the customer's well aware that we're now in control of the vessel and we're doing the repair. Because safety is really important too, make sure they can't start an engine and do damage. Uh, to themselves or to the product. We organise the parts, as many parts as we possibly can to start with, so uh, when we pull the engine down, we, we've got the genuine parts right there, ready to go, and put the, put the engine back together, which um, takes away that downtime for the customer, stops them from you know, sitting there for months with, without the boat being able to be used. Once we've protected the vessel and we go to the engine room, you know, draining coolant, pulling off brackets and getting yourself set up to the next stage where you're removing big parts. And uh, as, as a wise man once told me, big parts win hearts. But it's important as you're stripping down the engine to inspect all the parts and make sure that the parts that you are changing, you're changing for the right reasons. There's no underlying issues or um, things that you may not have known about before you start pulling apart. Um, it's difficult with an engine, you don't have x-ray vision, so you don't find a lot of these problems until you actually pull the engine down or remove one component to look under another component. The other thing with leaving the large parts on the boat that don't need to be taken away is it, it does cut down on the time of you know, removing them from the boat, the risk of damaging either the boat or the components. So a lot of these components are really expensive parts, so we want to make sure that we're looking after the customer's best interest. When it comes time to reassemble the engine, we only ever use genuine parts. Really important you put a genuine part on an engine. We do a final clean of all the parts, then we install the cylinder heads in this case, uh, making sure that the, the head bolts are tensioned down to the specified tension from the manufacturer. Uh, all bolts are marked, labelled, uh, and a comprehensive build sheet is completed whilst on the boat to make sure that everything's done exactly the way it should be done. This comprehensive process uh, gives us peace of mind at the end of the day when we hit the key on the, the engine. We know that it's done right and it's going to run right. It also gives the customer confidence in what we've done to know that we've done it all 100% by the manufacturer's guidelines and standards. Once the cylinder heads are on and tensioned, we're putting the injectors back in, we're putting the exhaust back on, we're carrying out a valve adjustment. Then we're at the stage where we're refilling the engine with coolant. We use genuine coolant or the specified coolant from the engine manufacturer. And then we're ready to start the engine up and um, go for the sea trial, which is probably the most rewarding part of the job, knowing that you've pulled it all apart, put it all back together and return the boat to the customer in a better condition than he had it before. I love pulling apart engines like this and it's really, really rewarding to get to the end of the day and have it run better than it ever did. And that's good to get into these sorts of jobs and you know, step away from the sort of basic service work and the stuff that anybody can do, I guess. This is what makes it really good to you know, be a part of onboard.